the sound of that. And the great thing also too is that you can decide what kind of mufflers you want on there. If this is not loud enough, easy swap, just change the mufflers. Nice, nice, nice sports car, luxury car, rumble car, headlights working, turn signals, all that good stuff. I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's Smile Maker video, man. Look at this car. If you are here looking at this car right now, you're going, man, mm, how do I, how do I, how do I make it happen? And I said, you know what? Don't make it happen yet. Let me give you my few minutes. Let me show you what you would be getting. Let me show you the extras that will come with it, the detail that went into it, all of what's going on right here, because there are some things that make one car better than another. And when you have detail, craftsmanship put into this, right? This was not done by some amateur. This was done by Thornburg uh, Restorations. This guy, while he's a good friend, is a little freaky, let me just tell you. He is a detail guy. He is labeling the wires on there, right? Labeling where they go, what color they are. I'm like, why do you do that? He goes, because we want it to be right. I'm like, okay, right. Come on, man. You've been working on this for four years. You said you'd only be six months. We want it to be right. I said, okay, how do you argue with that, right? Anyway, it's done. It's finally here, and it's super exciting. So we're going to talk about things like the two engines that it comes with, right? The uh, the added L82 package on this car, which gives you a more high performance engine that would have come from the factory, regardless of what it had in it. And it comes with a matching numbers engine as well. Also new suspension, new paint, all new interior, wiring, gaskets, on and on and on. Thousands and thousands of dollars. You say, well, Tone, that's a little much for one of these cars, don't you think? I said, you know what? This is not a $25,000 car being sold for, I'll use a number of $40,000. This is a $60,000 car being sold for $40,000 and I'm going to show you why. All right, so I want to talk about the quality of paint. We do that all the time, but I will also like to say this. is A lot of times people say, hey, Tone, that is a great looking car, but we don't really know why it's a great looking car. I want to point out some of the things that make it great. For instance, these wheels here, they're polished, right? They're not painted silver steel wheels. They're the factory polished wheel with a brand new set of radials all the way around, right? You have mirror finished black paint. You got all new chrome, emblems, trim, mirrors, uh, gaskets, T-tops. T-top bags, like all this little stuff that adds up to a lot of money. Uh, but more importantly, I want to give you a lesson on paint. And paint is to be looked at like this. Don't look at it just as an overall thing, right? How shiny it is because it's super shiny. But what you want to do is when you look at paint, you want to look at it like looking at the ceiling in the paint. You want to look at these letters in the paint. Forget the paint and you'll see why I'm talking about that. So as we walk on over, we can see all of how crystal clear like the lighting is and the uh, ribs in the ceiling. And then we can also look look at how clear uh, the font is in this paper and you now you know what kind of quality paint and the reason we do the video is because the video doesn't lie pictures can be manipulated they all look shiny whatever this really shows us what we have all right so uh, we have a couple different types of clients. And I want to tell you real quick before we get under the hood here. We have some clients who just want to get a great car. They don't really care about, you know, showing the car, lifting the hood, doing all that stuff. They just want to get in and go. And I love that. We have other clients who want to take it. They want to take it to car shows. They want to tinker on it and things like that. I think that's awesome too. Love that as well. This offers you the best of both worlds. If you don't feel like messing with anything under the hood, all the hard work's been done. It's meant to be driven and go for a drive. If you want to go to a car show, this is what you'd be getting right? You'd be getting this to show off. And I want to show, talk about little detail stuff. And you say, Tone, when you say these small things, it doesn't sound like a lot of money. And you're absolutely right. Every one of those small things is not a lot of money, but they all add up to big money, right? So this engine right here, uh, making uh, 350 horsepower-ish, right, is 50% more power 
than the original L82 engines that would have come in the car, right? So think about that for a second. If this was a 400 horsepower car, it would be 600 horsepower now, right? It's a big jump. This car is fast. It's got a four speed to back it up. Secondly, we have factory air conditioning. The air conditioning system in this car, all brand new from the front of it, all the way through every part in this car. Condenser, uh, compressor, uh, evaporator, like all this stuff, the lines, everything, all brand new AC system, nice and cold. You want that when you're shifting, man, you got a little speed of sweat coming down your forehead and it might drip into your eye once you hit about 140, 150 down the straightaway at your favorite racetrack. Okay, I made all that up, but you know what I mean. Four-wheel disc brakes, right? Power four-wheel disc brakes. Like this is a luxury car and a sports car all wrapped in one. You say, Tone, this thing has power four-wheel disc brakes back in 76. I said, yes, it does, right? It has, uh, it has air conditioning. It has power steering. It has a lot of power. It has an extra engine, the matching numbers original engine as well. So all of this is really nice. If you want to open the hood, show it off. Just looks great. And uh, uh, if you don't want to open the hood and you just want to go for a drive, sounds awesome too. All right. So we're back to that part like, wow, that's a great looking car, but we don't really know why. Well, let me just share with you why. First off, a Corvette doesn't need our help to look good. But when it's restored beautifully with new bezels, right? New bezels, new bezels, new pieces here, right? It just shines differently, especially a black car with chrome pieces on like that. It just pops. However, what I do love most about this car is this, that if even if you don't love cars, you just like cars or even remotely like cars. If I was to remove the emblem off this car, you would know 10 times out of 10 that this is a Corvette, right? It could never be mistaken for a Vega or a Fairlane or uh, some other car. A Corvette is a Corvette. And when you own one of these, you understand. Secondly, uh, this has a Bilstein up graded suspension, right? So part of all of the upgrades on this car, because it has a ton of them, we can roll them through all of them in the video, but uh, we left a sticker on there. This is Sports Car Club of America subscription that had that there. We left that decal on. We can take that off if you don't want it. Not a big deal, but it's just part of the coolness of the car from the 70s. I thought it was great. All right, I'm smiling because I'm thinking about this, man. I'm thinking I'm working. It's Friday, it's four o'clock, and I say, you know what? I'm blowing the day off. I am done. All that stuff's going to be there for me on Monday. I know it will be. Whatever. I don't even care. And I go, and I know I drove my Corvette today to work, and I walk up, and I'm smiling at it going, man, this car is great. I've had 10 people tell me how amazing looking my car is. And I'm like, you know what? It is amazing, but it's not just amazing in the looks, and it's, but it's even amazing in how it makes me feel. Let me share with you what I mean by that. When you get in this car, right? When you get in here, you got lots of room, okay? I'm 6'1", and I got all of this. I got tilt wheel. I got telescopic wheel, right? You got all of these adjustments to get you in here however you want. If you want the seat to be lowered, that can be done. If you want the seat to be raised, that can be done. So there's a couple little small things for adjustments if you want that to happen. Uh, the interior here, I watched it all put together. It's new carpets. It's new seat foams. It's new uh, seat covers. It's new uh, console pieces and dash pieces and steering wheel and uh, all of the wiring of the gauges and, and uh, the T-top, T-top bag, T-top seals. Like All of the adjustments have been done, so when you drive it, it's just a, a great car. Again, when I think about cars and kinds of cars that I would love to own, I think about this for a second because this, first off, the color combination is fabulous, right? I got this right here, clicking through the gears as I'm rolling down the road. I got power windows. I got air conditioning. I got this digital upgraded sound system that I can stream my phone from. You know why I want to stream the music from my phone to that? It's because I shut off the feed from work. I Man, I got no Twitter feed, Facebook, boss feed, 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 all of that noise that coming in. The only noise I'm hearing is the exhaust out there, the shifter here, and the wind coming through. It is super, super nice. All right, so to close up this wonderful car video, you know why I call it a wonderful? Because it just feels wonderful to stand near this car, knowing the effort that went into making it uh, where it is today. Think about this for a second. Although this is a 76 and it's classic and it's fabulous, it's actually very modernized too in a sense of this. 
It has power four-wheel disc brakes. It has a four-wheel fully independent suspension, right? It has air conditioning. It has power windows. It has a digital sound upgrade, right? It's got the four speed. It's got removable T-tops that sit right in the back there. It's got a place for your soft luggage. So many new parts. Two engines, one that's a lot more powerful than the factory engine would have ever have had, and the matching numbers original engine that comes with it too. It's just an awesome car. And when I see it and I hear it and I drive it, I say the same thing to you, man. You got to figure a way to get this in your garage. Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about this cool 76 Corvette. And if you don't mind, uh, hit the like button over there. It helps get our message out. Share it with your friends. They might like it as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got new stuff coming out all the time. And I'll see you on the next one. I'll just show it off, man. All this cool stuff on this car. Let me have a little fun. Come on. All right. Let's fire this thing up. Well, I like the sound of that. And the great thing also, too, is that you can decide what kind of mufflers you want on there. If this is not loud enough, easy swap. Let's change the mufflers. Nice, nice, nice sports car, luxury car, rumble car, headlights working, turn signals, all that good stuff.